Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rantway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 14th, 2023. Well, my goodness, we're moving through this month pretty quickly, and boy, oh boy, have we been in a choppy market condition. Big point swings um, occurring in this market, in this choppy range, particularly here on the diamonds. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, if you noticed overnight last night, um, Asian markets had kind of a rough night with uh, Country Garden, one of their major developers, dropping to new lows as their real estate crisis over there continues to expand and worsen and continuing to show that situation where their economy is in decline and that possibility of actually deflation beginning to happen over there um, in China. But so far this morning, um, European markets and U.S. markets are largely trying to ignore that, hoping that we will continue this um, rally to the upside and trying to continue to pump these stocks to new highs and even though they are priced many of them are priced at or near perfection levels let's take a look here at the diamonds as you can see we did a really good job in here holding this support last week we bounced down in here quite a bit and if i were to switch this over to uh, the dow and i just want to measure right in here from the high that we had um, last week right there right about there to the low that we had last week um, 561 points in that chop range and that's why i was suggesting a little bit of danger in here the way we're chopping back and forth now the good news is on this uh, chart is that we are holding above our 50-day moving average and this still is a bullish trend so as you can see with this um, bullish upside trend in play, we may still have that opportunity that we can find some inspiration to the upside and push on up here to retest these resistance levels. I'm going to suggest that if the bulls um, continue to find um, inspiration here, then maybe up here into this area right in here to see if we can retest some of those levels there and if we can push on through that then we're retesting the highs here in the chart but just keep in mind that's a pretty big point range in here and with the uncertainties that have recently cropped up we'll want to be a little bit careful um, over trading um, this market now keeping in mind that we're well above our 50-day moving average if the bears were to find um, inspiration here i think it's fairly clear that a retest in this level would not be out of the question if those bears were to be inspired for some reason. Unfortunately, today, there's not going to be a lot of data out there to give us that inspiration. Um, so be kind of careful um, here. Um, we've been experiencing relatively light volume. And what's interesting is the market breadth indicator has just been extremely low. So just be a little bit careful. That means whipsaws can happen quickly. Well, let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. It's been moving a little bit on that bearish side, continuing on to struggle here on Friday, although it did find some price support and bounce back up. We're trying to relieve some of that um, selling pressure here this morning to the upside, but let's just kind of recognize the fact that we kind of slipped underneath this trend. Now you could draw this trend differently and that I'm not saying that that trend line on here is perfect, but obviously we have uh, pulled back here substantially in our SPY. And we're running into that situation that if the bulls continue to find inspiration here, we may push on up and we're gonna run into some fairly significant levels of price resistance in the chart so as we try to relieve that selling pressure in here let's watch for the possibility of lower highs coming into play 
If the bears were to find inspiration here today, you can see pushing up and gapping up here this morning, trying to attack the underneath side of that resistance um, and, and trend, that um, a pushback down into here would be the next logical push or support level in the chart. And then keeping in mind, if that were to fail, that would push us down into this area of the chart. Now, one of the good things here about the um, SPY is on Friday, we held in there right on that 50 day moving average. We didn't quite test it, but we came really, really close. So be careful if we do create some kind of a lower high in here, then I would expect a test of that 50 day moving average to occur. If we take a look at our QQQ, our NASDAQ, we um, also show that bearishness here that has pushed us down some substantially and we've got that lower high that came in right there and that trend moving us lower. We broke down through this support area of the chart, likely raising some um, uncertainty and some concern here in the market. And you'll notice if you draw your trend line like I have here in the QQQ, we also failed that uh, trend line here on Friday. So pushing back down here um, creates that situation where we've got these um, resistance levels above in the chart, kind of that double whammy resistance level right in that area. So rally back up into that area, we're gonna run into some price resistance. Watch that carefully if we start to show some failure in that area. Now the good news on this is that we are still right around that 50 day moving average and we're rallying back up here to try and test it. But once again, if we run into that resistance here, we could see that lower high coming into place and a little bit more selling if that were to occur. Now, if those bulls find inspiration and can really, really get going here, watch this resistance here in the chart to break. If that breaks, remember, there's nothing wrong with um, breaking down through a, uh, a bit of a support or trend area if we can recover it and then hold it as support. But until that occurs, I'm going to be a little bit cautious here on the NASDAQ. If we take a look at our Russell, IWM also struggling uh, with this down move here, feeling a little bit of sell pressure here. But the good news is, is we held on to some price support in the chart. If the bulls were to uh, find inspiration today, well, let's look right up here at that wick in the chart that we had just last week right up there, that runs us into a price resistance level on IWM. So watch that carefully if we can move up there to maybe test that. If we continue to see some bearish action here in the market, and there is maybe some reason why we could, well then let's watch for this level right in here, that possibility that we could slip down into that area, possibly giving up this trend. And we wanna keep in mind that that 50 day moving average still hasn't been tested here in IWM. So there is a high likelihood that that 50 day moving average could draw us right down into that area. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, our VIX, uh, it was a little bit odd to me on a Friday because we had such a mix in data um, or a mix in results in the indexes and yet we saw that VIX pulling back as if there was no concern here in the market. Well, I think not only is there concern, but I think those PPI numbers came out really raising that question uh, for investors as to what will the Fed's next move be. We saw the CPI number give a whole bunch of confidence to the market and then the PPI number pull that confidence right out from under us, suggesting that the Fed could continue to raise rates in September. So watch this closely here. Uh, there's that downtrend break and we've got a little price support level right in here. What we uh, want to see is if you are a bull is we want to see that to continue 
to break this down to the downside. If you're a bear, what you want to see is you want to see a higher low being held in here. And that's where the real selling could come into place. So watch that carefully if, if those bears were to step up and continue their attack. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 has relieved an awful lot of the overbought pressure that we've been experiencing in the market. This has been one of the longer periods of time. I can remember um, where we lingered up here, continuing to extend and extend and extend in the market. Now this relieving of that pressure has been, well, really choppy, really um, uh, problematic to trade because there's so many whips and overnight gaps. So watching that carefully in here, let's keep in mind if the bulls can continue to find inspiration here today, then we would look for that upside move. And one of the places that we want to be watching is pushing back up above that 50% area in the chart. If we can push this on up, we, we know we've got plenty of upside opportunity if those bulls can really engage. But let's also keep in mind, and I know most folks don't want to hear this, that um, we still have a long way that we could go to the downside if those bears were to continue to engage here. So watch that carefully um, in the market. Now our T2108 shows us that little bit of concern here in the market. We've got a good hold on Friday of this support level, but notice that it just really wasn't all that exciting as a matter of fact a good portion of the day that was moving lower so we're right here about 50 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average and you can see that possibility that if we were to slip below this if the bears were to come into play that we could move down pretty sharply and pretty quickly if we do find that bullish inspiration here today then pushing up into this area would not be out of the question and notice we've got a little price resistance in that chart and that could relieve some of that selling pressure here in the market if you look right across here we also have that possibility that we could engage this little upside trend and push that back up for just a bit so watch carefully here relieving some of that pressure might be just the thing the doctor ordered if we take a look at our t2107 t2107 little bit different picture here we were moving down most of the day yesterday in t2107 and by the way this is the percentage of stocks above the 200 day we're right in here around 52 53 percent we've broken that upside trend but the good news is we've held on to some price support in here so if those bulls can continue to push in here let's look for this price resistance up here to potentially be tested to the upside and if those bears continue to engage well of course we certainly have a little bit of support right there that could hold us so let's watch that close if we take a look at our t2101 this is something that i uh, mentioned already um, even with these big whipsawing moves, notice that our market breadth is extremely light, um, oddly light, uh, because we're moving in such big moves and um, so very strange here in the market that we just don't seem to have any energy or breadth moving through here. One of the things that I would suggest is that we have that possibility that that breadth could pick up quickly, but here's the question. In, in T2101, this breadth does not mean necessarily an up move or a down move. What it means is how that energy is coming into the market. So it's entirely possible this could rally up here in breadth if we get a bullish move going. It's also the same thing that can happen if we have a bearish move going. If that were to increase substantially here on breadth, that may be just the bears pushing to the other side. So watch that carefully here in the market. This is a very light situation here. So I would watch for some big potential point moves in the market. And even those potential whipsaws and, and, and big reversals that can occur um, in the market as well when breath is like this it's just re remember it's just where that inspiration happens to come in and I see that possibility that could go either direction and quick let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today our economic calendar has got a few things for us to be paying attention to and unfortunately um, I seem to have not 
That is the blog. I seem to have not opened the um, economic calendar for today. So let's take a look here really quickly. Our economic calendar is such a light day today. There's really not much here to inspire at all. You notice in here we've got the three month and six month bond auctions going on today. But as we um, progress, um, we're going to be thinking about this one um, throughout the day today, that retail sales number. Will the retail sales continue to show those consumers are in really good shape or is that going to start showing they're beginning to pull back? We'll want to keep an eye on that. And then we've got Empire State, um, import export prices, business inventories, housing market index. So kind of a big day on that economic calendar. And as we progress through the week, you can see several more market moving reports that we'll want to be thinking about as we ramp up into the mid mid time uh, or mid session uh, this week. Let's take a look at um, our oops. let's take a look at our um, um, earnings calendar for today and our earnings calendar is actually a pretty light one today as well just whoops just not much in there for um, us to get too overly worried about here today the notables that i have on the list i'm going to run through them quick because there are not many um alc might be interesting to pay attention to today hrtx is on that notable list but honestly it's because of its volume that i went ahead and put it on the list but um, not too many people are going to be worried about a dollar sixty-five stock. Um, JKS, JKS is on the list today. Um, looks like that is moving uh, a little bit lower here today with a big old pop and drop on its earnings report. And then we have MNDY that will be reporting today. Nice gap up going on in that, uh, pushing to the upside on its earnings. So watch that carefully. And that's it. That's all of the notables for today. So how about we dig in and look at some stocks that are setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you feel that this video is worthy, if I've earned your thumbs up, if you could please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment and even an emoji um, um, counts where we get that engagement with the video. It helps the algorithm to continue to show these videos to more folks. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. And also a big shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you need to do your own due diligence be very very careful here in this market there's quite a little bit of fluctuation going on in different areas of the market and we're going to talk about that in just a second but Remember to follow your own trading rules, your guidelines, and make sure you're following your risk tolerances. You should never ever follow anyone else's trade ideas until you've made that evaluation based on your guidelines. Let's take a look in here and see if we can find a few stocks that are of interest. Well, first off, I want to mention the dollar. What we're seeing here going on in the dollar is kind of interesting. We've got Japanese currency fluctuating dramatically, and we've got the Russian currency fluctuating dramatically here this morning. And that, once again, is pushing the dollar back up into this resistance level. We continue to see that moving higher and higher. So watch that closely. Now, interestingly enough, even as this continues to strengthen, we're seeing energy move to the up upside. So we've been seeing the um, um, 
oil and gas stocks moving strongly to the upside and continuing that move, even though we're seeing that strengthening dollar. So watch this closely here, XLE, this is the uh, spider select uh, sector ETF on energy, been moving up nicely, broke through a nice resistance level. Any rest or pullback in here would set up an opportunity. But if you go through and you start looking at some of these oil and gas stocks, take a look at Occidental, really strong, just a rest or pullback could set up an opportunity. We've got ConocoPhillips that could be setting up in an upside move. Notice we broke through some resistance here. We're resting in this area, holding. Um, that next pop out might be ready to happen here anytime soon. APA has just been on a rocket ship ride to the upside. Any rest or pullback could set up an opportunity there. Now, one that I have been watching pretty closely is this trade in UNG. As a matter of fact, I have a little bias in it because I am holding a position. And I'm waiting to see if we're going to break this rectangular bottom pattern here in the chart. I'll be watching that closely here. Um, if we were to break up through here and hold a higher low, I'm going to be incredibly interested in that. So looking right in here, there's that little up upside trend, we may have a more, more of a pullback or more consolidation yet to occur here in UNG, but let's watch that one closely. And another one that I am uh, keenly um, aware of right now is TLT. Now we've got a record short going on in TLT and we've been seeing that in the 10 year bonds. They've been pressing and pressing and pressing those 10 year bonds higher, pushing the yields way up but i have that feeling with the uncertainty that we're starting to see in the banking issues um uh to watch this one closely now i'm not suggesting it's ready to just take off and rip to the upside but i would watch this carefully because i think there is a possibility at some point in time this could trigger a pretty substantial short squeeze so watch that carefully here in tlt a lot of volatility obviously we've pushed down into these levels that we haven't seen for a while down here really low and we could still go lower but watch that carefully. If this were to hold this little teeny tiny higher low in here and start back up, we could see those short positions start to cover pretty quickly and really press. And I think we've almost got a max short position going on in a lot of those funds. So watch that carefully if that were to start to spring back up. It could move very, very fast. Let's take, and by the way, it's something I've traded many times before and had a lot of success with it. You can see right over here, this pattern um, not so unsimilar to what we're seeing over here. A little potential higher low and then it just explodes. So watch that close. Let's take a look at a few other stocks that could be setting up that I think are interesting. First, let's take a look at Google in here. Google has been holding up very nicely while other stocks have been shedding some, uh, some of that bullish upside. Uh, Google has been holding in here above a support level. It's been consolidating in kind of a wide range, but as this moves over here toward this trend, it might be worth continuing to watch that closely for that next potential upside move in that chart. Um, let's take a look at um, ZIM. Now ZIM is one I've been paying kind of close attention to here. I was thinking it might follow through on this trend to the upside and I'm actually glad to see that trend kind of flattening out here just a little bit for more stability in a position. And you can notice that we're kind of consolidating right in here on this um, area, this level of that chart. So watch that closely. If we were to consolidate this back out into this area, watch for that next upside opportunity maybe to come in ZIM. You know, there was some news on uh, Cleveland here today. Um, there was an offer uh, by Cleveland to buy U.S. Steel that has been rejected by U.S. Steel. Um, could see some interesting price action in here. Cleveland was moving down substantially with the idea of this big potential offer really cutting into um, their balance sheet. Um, gapping down this morning and popping back up here in the pre-market, um, I would expect some volatility in this, but Cleveland might be uh, back on the upside here if we can hold this support in the chart. Watch that one close. Take a look at NVIDIA. 
NVIDIA has had, um, well, a very interesting, uh, let me move off of that, a very interesting um, sell-off going on here. Notice that we've been moving in this downtrend in here. We're coming into a little bit of price support. So if you are um, interested in NVIDIA, this might get that little bit of upside relief coming in here soon. But if it doesn't, if it were to drop through here, Boy, I think there could be some major downside that could be on the way if NVIDIA fails in here. So watch this one closely. You'll notice in here um, we're breaking down below the 50-day moving average here on the daily. And that's never a really good sign because any rally back up there creates that failure pattern that we see so often in the market. And with this gap below here, Boy, I could see that possibility if this sell side really starts to pick up here, that this could move down sharply into that gap. So just be a little bit careful here on NVIDIA. Take a look at GE. GE continues to perform really, really well here. A beautiful upside trend, as you can see. Um, nothing in here suggesting um, a failure is yet to occur. And you can see that potential that we might push on through to the upside in GE. You know, I've been watching Starbucks in here thinking that this thing might eventually get going if the consumers are really, really strong. We would expect to see Starbucks really take off to the upside. Um, a lot of faltering going on here where we're just bouncing around in this area. Before this could get bullish, this is going to have to hold that upside um, higher low in there, maybe break through that resistance to the upside. But here's something I want to show you. If I go to a, a weekly chart, does anybody see the pattern here? There's something here starting to really give me some concern here in Starbucks. We have that potential head and shoulders pattern that could be forming here on Starbucks. Um, neckline of that trade would be down through here. So if that were to fail through here, this has got a big potential move to the downside if that holds on that weekly pattern. So watch that close. Um, let's take a look at a few other trades in here. Lyft, whoops, Lyft um, uh, made a big move here on Friday, pushing back up. They had a little bit of downside move here that got a little bit excited. You can see breaking back through that resistance in the chart. If this can hold that higher low up here, then look for that next opportunity for that to move on up. A little bit of concern um, though coming in here because if that were to fail right in here along that resistance, well, there again, we may have that little head and shoulders in there starting to show us um, uh, an ugly pattern if we cannot hold to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. Take a look at some of these ag and ag related stocks. Um, Mosaic. Mosaic made a really nice run to the upside. It's now relieving some of that buy pressure here, pulling back. If we can find some price support in here in the chart, I might want to be watching for that next opportunity to the upside there. And then also, you got to be keeping an eye on some of these um, retail stocks that have just run, run, run to the upside. Notice Kohl's kind of resting, pulling back now, um, consolidating here. I would look Look for that next opportunity for that to hold and we can see that in quite a few places in the market in the retail sector so with that guys i'm running out of time i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for listening and being here i wish you all the best in your trading and we'll see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning have an awesome day